<laughs> performance sa face ano. So, first and foremost, what is performance appraisal? So, employee appraisal. Uh, Kung baga sa Tagalog, eh, kinikilatis ka. No? Paano magkilatis ng isang empleyado? Uh, hindi siya... Paano, paano, paano mo kikilalanin empleyado? Okay ba yung trabaho niya? Baka mabait siya, yes. No? Pero... Wala namang improvement. So, performance appraisal. So, the question is, what is performance appraisal? So, it refers to the evaluation of an employee's performance to provide meaningful information to assess individual needs for improvement and for the organization to plan for the future. So, nagbibigay siya ng informasyon tungkol sa isang empleyado no? or isang individual. No? Ano ba yung mga kailangan niyang ayusin? No? Uh, typically, yun naman eh. Needs for improvement. Ano ba kailangan baguhin? Ano bang kailangan uh, i-improve? No? Always, there's always room for improvement. No? Uh, so, it's like a criticism of the individual itself. No? Ano bang kailangan mong i-improve? No? Baka, let's say, sabi nila mahina yung communication skills mo, then yun yung appraisal nila. No? It is also called performance management, performance evaluation, performance measurement. Pare-pareho lang yan. Performance appraisal is now seen as a mutual exchange of information between employees and supervisors for them to work together in achieving the organization's strategic objectives. So, in a way, para siyang exam, no? Para siyang ating quarterly assessment. No? So, good luck on your quarterly assessment. Haro, no? uh, pero ito kasi, depende naman to. No? Uh, meron kasing quarterly assessment din ng mga employee. Meron naman yearly. No? So, ako kasi nung nag-work ako, mas gusto ko yung quarterly. Na-assess ko kung nag improve ako. No? So, meron mga ibang mga tao, no? may mga ibang employees na pakiramdam nila yung performance appraisal eh unfair or medyo sensitive lang sila. But in reality, it helps. No? Kasi you you get to know yourself. Ano ba? Ano ba ako talaga sa mata ng ibang tao? No? Baka ang akala mo sa sarili mo, napakagaling mo, pero in reality, no? iba yung reality. Iba yung realidad eh. No? Binabasag ka niya. Binabasag niya. So, na-analyze nila kamalian mo, no? Hindi nila pinuko na yung kamalian mo para pag-inipan ka. Rather, inaalam nila yung kamalian mo para alam mo kung paano mo siya maitatama. Medyo malalim. <laughs> okay. No? Ito, wala sa book, no? Sorry. Kaya naka, no? Not in the Diwa book, no? So, pero similar lang siya dun sa unang description. Comprises the steps. So, may steps yan. Of observing and assessing. No? So, OA. OA na empleyado. Observing and assessing. Employee performance. So, pareho lang. Recording and providing feedback. No? Baka naman mamaya inobserbahan mo yung empleyado. No? Inassess mo siya. Nirecord mo yung mga kanyang kamalian. Ano ba yung mga room for improvement. No? Hindi ka naman nagbigay ng feedback. No? <laughs> Araw ka lang nagtatago ng and you shall give the feedback to the employee. Skillful managers give feedback and praise concerning the acceptable elements of the performance of the employee. No? So, kung karapat-dapat ka naman ikaw ay papurian, then bigyan ka na papuri. No? Pero kung karapat-dapat ka naman punahin, then dapat punahin ka rin. No? They also describe the performance areas that needs improve. No? Again, Huwag yung personalin, no? pag nagtatrabaho na kayo. No? Huwag yung pa-personalin itong mga performance appraisal na ito. No? Walang personal lang, trabaho lang. No? Hindi naman nila in-evaluate most of the time yung ugali mo. But rather your performance. No? Employees can use this information to change their job performance. No? 
So, merong ibang tao na pagpangit yung appraisal sa kanila na sasaktan, no? Mga balat si Boyas, no? Pero ako, mas natutuwa ako pag nakikita ko yung ano bang dapat kong pag-uhin. Hindi naman lahat ng tao pare para ng mindset, eh. No? So, sa akin kasi nakakatulong sa akin yun. Baka meron akong hindi napapansin, no? Lalo na sa education, you must there must always be room for improvement, no? Hindi ka pwedeng pakiramdam mo, ay, napag-aralan ko na lahat yan, magaling na ako, no? Hindi ganun, no? And even kahit empleyado ka, kahit hindi ka isang educator, no? Uh, Pag-employ ka, ah, alam ko na lahat yan, pasikot-sikot na marketing. No, you cannot, do so. you cannot say that. Or, ah, hindi, master ako na accounting, eh, CPA nga ako, eh. So, what kung CPA ka, no? Marami ka pang kakaining bigas, no? Marami ka pang tatrabahuhin. No? And even if narating mo na yung pinakatok-tok, no? Wala yung You're just an individual, no? Among the collective learning of people. No? So there's always room for improvement. <laughs> Purpose of performance appraisal, no? So developmental, strategic, and administrative, no? Of course, developmental to facilitate employee development, no? Ginagawa niya yun para hindi ka, uh, ang tawag doon, laitin, no? But rather, para ma ano mo no ma, ma identify mo yung mga areas for improvement mo paano mo pa may develop it sarili mo uh -huh. think of it as a developer's project no uh, like let's say yung pasig no pasig and las pinas no this hindi naman sila ganyan kalago eh no when i was young natin tanungin ko no taon yon no yung las pinas is puro ano lang yan puro talahib lang no and even pasig no no puro talahib lang Pero now, punta ka, no? Punta ka ng LP. Punta ka ng PASIC. Wala na eh. Puro, punong puno na, no? Na-develop na, no? So, yung tao, it's like an asset, no? Kaya na. Tao is an asset, no? So, FABM to org, man. The employee is an asset, no? So, there's always room for development. Sabihin mo, eh, marunong na ako sa accounting. Eh, marunong na ako sa marketing. Marunong na ako sa procurement, No. Meron ka pang maitatagdag na learnings, no? Or how to improve your work activities, no? whether professionally or behaviorally, no? to enhance employee motivation. So pag nade-develop ka, no, namomotivate ka. So let's say nakita mo na hindi ganun kaganda yung report mo, pero nilagay doon ng appraisal is more room for development, then that's good, no? Uh, I am motivated. Kung ako yung employee na I will be much, much more motivated to further improve. Strategic. To establish a link between the tasks and activities of an employee of the goal of the organization. So, kakaroon ng appraisal para malaman mo yung connection mo. So, it's organization. If you will remember, the company has its own vision and mission. Ang role natin mga empleyado is to fulfill the vision and mission of the organization. And the key to that is alignment. So, nag align ka ba sa goal? Huh? The vision. nag align ka ba sa shared values? Sabi nga ni Gordon Ramsay, sa business, you cannot bring that food. Huh? Na kahit anong bait ng tao, kailangan meron siyang contribution sa isang organization. If not, then, walang personal lang, trabaho lang. We have to get rid of it. And last, is administrative, no? To, to determine appropriate rewards and compensation. To undertake decision on employee movement. No? Yan, administrative roles, purposes. Characteristics of performance of praise, no? So, tatlo. Again, tatlo na naman. Clarity of purpose. Must be clear. No? Kailan i-ano mo kagad? Ipahiwatig mo kagad yung uh, ano ba yung purpose sa Tagalog? No? Reason. No? Dahilan. No? Okay. So, hindi ako expert sa pili. Sorry. So, clarity of purpose must be object, 
must be clear on its objective and should be communicated to the employees to avoid misunderstandings and false expectations on its process and outcome. You must communicate it well to your employees para hindi ka mahanapan ng butas. Palang araw sabihin nila, eh wala ka namang binanggit na ganyan eh. Wala namang ganito eh. O dapat noon mo pa sinabi. Para wala siyang lusot. No? Minsan kasi mga office, no? ang mga employees, they will try to find a way no? para makalusot. No? Gagawa ng paraan. Sabi nga nila, kung gusto, may paraan. No? So kung ayaw, may dahilan. No? Pag gumawa ka ng dahilan, ayaw mo. Second, well discuss expectations yun yan, no? uh, in conjunction with clarity of purpose should have a prior analysis of the job no? job analysis no? including its duties and responsibilities so job analysis job specification no? yeah so let's say you apply ka ng dishwasher ng dishwasher no yun yun yung mga role ng dishwasher Eh, paano kung sinabi, ang role mo dishwasher, pero bigla sinabi sa'yo, oh, mag, mag, ano, magkumpuni ka ng mga kawad ng kuryente ng, ano, ng, ng building. Di ba? Wala siya sa job specification. Wala siya sa uh, possibilities ng trabaho mo, ano, which is a, a dishwasher. No? Then, alignment of performance, appraising goals with organizational goals is understood. Again, Keyword alignment, no? So, kailangan, no? Sa, sabi nga sa, sa lingo ng construction, kailangan yung tatlo na yun nasa hulog. No? May alignment. Hindi pwedeng nakatabingi yung isa, no? Kailangan shoot, no? Another lingo word, no? Shoot sa banga. Yung tatlong ito, no? Hindi pwedeng off target yung isa. So, kahit pa ikot-ikoting ka, no? They are aligned no? characteristics. They are conducted to help achieve an organization's objectives. Hindi naman sila gagawa ng ganyan performance appraisal. Nasakit lang ng ulo yan para, para sa wala. No? They're doing it for the organization's uh, greater good. So, policy decisions in performance appraisal. So, typically, ang gumagawa ng performance appraisal is the superiors. No? Paminsan-minsan lang yung co-workers pati sarili. Kasi pag tayo, meron tayong personal biases. Subordinates, minsan, nagano sila ng performance appraisal. Uh, the problem with uh, subordinates, no, kung lang kayo, so medyo magkakaroon ng idea yung uh, superior nyo. No? Pero kung marami, medyo mahirap yung pinpoint yan. So, superior. The most common, no? the role conflict or incompatible demands on the employee, no? which can be challenging for her or him to accomplish. So let's say uh, manager kailangan eh, kapag submit yung employees mo on deadline. No? So, iba eh. Iba kayo ng roles. No? Ikaw kasi more on delegation. Siya yung, siya yung katawan. No? <laughs> yung kinikita sa'yo. So, kasi in this construction, no? uh, kailangan maitayo yung building for one year, hindi naman pwedeng si engineer mismo mag-ano, no? <laughs> uh, tawag doon, magbawa one bagger, no? Hindi mismo si engineer yung magpapalitada, mismo si engineer yung magpipintura. No. He has to rely on his subordinates no? to get the job done. Iba naman yung kailangan mong gawin para makompleto ang trabaho. So, same lang sila ng dynamic. Similar dynamic. The problem is, the office, no, let's say sa mga ganyan, project manager or marketing manager, no, comparison to the end level or rank and files, para nyo kayo ng background. So, medyo, so, so time, availability, friendship factor. No? So, baka mamaya, friendship mo pala si, si superior. Baka mamaya, mudra mo siya, no, or tatay mo siya sa office, yun, medyo may conflict. Ayan, friendship bias. Bes, beshi mo yung ano eh, yung, yung gumawa ng performance appraisal, no? Or leniency, medyo, okay, hindi ka mahigpit, no? 
So ako, I might say, I'm more of a transactional guy, no? Uh, kung mabait ako, mabait ako. Pero kung mahikit ako, mahikit ako. So, I might be, uh, <laughs> I might be guilty of this, no? Pero, pag trabaho kasi, mahikit ako yan. So, high level of accuracy, no? Yung friendship kasi, it's a colleague, eh. Yung mga co-workers mo, they're your colleagues, so they can be used as a valid source of feedback. So, yung sarili mo. Ayan. Class of knowledge, leniency effect. Good for performance, appraisal, no? Subordinates, no? So, kung ikaw naman, kunwari yung boss, no? Influenced by the number of subordinates, type of job, ex expected, evaluated from supervisor, no? So, as much as possible, maganda kong anonymous, no? Hindi makikita, no? Supervisor or yung boss, kung sino yung gumawa, no? Lalo na kung handwritten, baka kabisado yung <laughs> sulat kamay mo, no? Can add information above and beyond other sources. And then client. Oh, yan ang pinakamahirap, no? For performance of paysan. Yan ang kinakatakutan ng mga sales, no? Good source of feedback. Negativity bias, no? So, Alam mo naman ang mga customer, no? Customers always right. So, minsan, hindi mo lang yan yan. Ako, eh, magtago ka na, no? Medyo babawian ka yan. Uh, customer ratings on the web may be used. Huh? So, let's say, yun nga, yung Plantation Bay, no? Recent topic natin. Nag-post nag siya ng review sa uh, trip advisor, no? So, ang dami nakabasa, no? ang laki ng impact nun dun sa mga parents or families na merong special, you know, meron silang relatives na gusto mag na may special needs. Huh? Yeah. Hmm. Ano yeah. What to evaluate? So there are three. Traits, behavior, and results. Huh? So traits muna tayo. Traits focuses on the traits of the employee, of course. Ano ba yung ugali ng tao? Ah, uh, siya, no? Malaping, o brusco, no? Suplado ba yan? Suplada? O marunong makisama, no? Let's say, uh, frontest ka, no? So, dapat medyo, ano ka, cheerful ka, no? Pleasing personality, no? Hindi ka naman pwede maging frontest ka, tapos, eh. Uh, hindi ka pwede maging frontest, tapos suplada ka, no? Ano yun? Na pa, may dumating na na hotel guest, no? Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Hindi pa pwede ka na. <laughs> so, dapat malamping ka. So, yun. So, when I'm do you know, when I'm teaching naman, no? Tulad right now, uh, I try my voice to get it a little softer, no? Kasi, this is teaching, no? I'm teaching students, no? The next professionals, no? The future, sabi nga ni Jose Rizal. Patahan ay pagkasa ng bayad. So, I'm trying to be nice, no? Pero, when I work at the job site, hindi ganito boses ko, no? So, you must have, you know, you must be fair, no? Iba kasi yung needs. So, here sa school, I must be gentle, no? Good morning, class. My name is ganito. Ganun ako mag-lesson, no? Traits-based measure. Focus on the traits of the employee essential to the job, no? Pero, Pag nasa construction ka, try mo mag-utos ng ganyan. Or man, baki ano naman, baki pinta naman yung pader. No? Okay lang nga, matapos na tayo next month ha, kundi magagalit na si boss. Tingnan natin kung makakatapos ka ng trabaho. <laughs> no? Hindi pwedeng ganun. No? Okay lang, pag nag-utos ka, in the operation, ayun sa operations, no? walang lambing na. No? Or man, kailangan next week tapos na tayo kung hindi manda ka sa akin, no? Ah, ganun, no? <laughs> Not necessarily kung manda ka sa akin, no? Pero, you're implying na kailangan matapos yung work na yun. So, yun yan, no? Tricks. Behavior-based. Ex focuses on what the employees does by, spe by examining specific So, Examples or ability to get along with others. No? Marunong ka ba makisama o medyo antisocial ka? No? 
or antisocial ka, no? <laughs> Hindi ka social, no? Ability to meet deadlines, no? Uh, or records of absenteeism or tardiness, no? So, may ibang company na hindi mahigit sa absenteeism and tardiness, no? Pero meron naman sobrang higpit, no? Uh, if you remember, kinabanggit ko last time, no? Sa SM, no? Yung corporate office nila sa Pasay, pag nalate ka ng a few minutes, no? you're considered as absent. And if you did not report on that date, then, ano ka, no? Manda ka na bukas, no? <laughs> Suspension ka siguro or worse ng bagay. So, marunong ka ba makisama sa mga kapwa empleyado mo or feel mo pinakamagaling, hindi ka dapat makisama sa kanila. Yan. Yan yung behavior days. And last but not the least, results-based measures. No? Focuses on the accomplishments of the employee. Examples are number of satisfied customers served, quality of outputs, and reduction in wastage. No? So, yung number of satisfied customers served, typically sa sales yan, quality of outputs, and reduction in waste stage. Uh, pwede yan sa, ano, no? typically sa operations yan, no? operation and manufacturing. No? Pero, even sa office, it's all, they're all applicable pa rin. Ako, mahaba pala ito. Okay. So, how to evaluate, no? So, absolute and relative, no? What are absolute measures? They, they test the employee performance based on a specific. Yeah. So, one is specific lang, no? In-evaluate ka nila, let's say, gaano karami na benta mo, no? Or length of time. Yeah, yeah, sa mga uh, delivery apps ngayon, no? Gaano katagal yung pag-deliver mo? No? Yan yung mga measures, no? Uh... There is a study na kailangan pag nagsaserve ka, let's say, as cashier no, sa McDo or sa Jollibee, hindi nakatungang ang customer mo for at least more than at least 30 seconds. Maano mo na siya? Actually, matagal lang yung 30 seconds. No? So, pag may pila, kailangan within a few minutes, maserve mo sila lahat. No? Meron silang evaluation dyan kasi on each of your punch in, no? Uh, on each transaction, naka-record yung duration of time. Adaptive measure in comparing the evaluation result of an employee via V to those of other persons within a group. No? So, let's say sa sales kayo, no? mga top 10%, no? sino yung mga top 5 sa sales. No? Yan yung mga relative measures. When to evaluate, no? Uh, dapat sasabihin mo naman kung kailan, no? It should be a part of the company's appraisal policy to specify the time period or a regular schedule for conducting performance appraisals of employees. No? Hindi naman pwedeng ambush. Hindi naman to pideya, eh, no? Employee lang naman tayo, no? So, kailangan aware din tayo, yeah. With a clear regular schedule for performance appraisals, employees can prepare adequately the activities involved. So, minsan, uh, ano yan eh? Sasabihan ka naman nila madalas, no? Uh, I mean, uh, within one month, uh, ito yung gagawin mo. Managers usually conduct employee appraisals on an annual basis. This is to encourage regular feedback and to recommend improvements needed in an employee's work. No, yung managers nagre-recommend sila ng improvements not just for your own good but also for theirs no? and also for the organization itself. Ayan, wala sa book, no? So, e errors in evaluation, no? Ayan, stereotyping, no? So, uh, stereotyping is a performance evaluation error that occurs when a manager places an employee into a class or category based on a few traits or characteristics, no? So, let's say, in-evaluate ka ng manager mo, tapos sabi niya, ay, kuripot yan kasi ilokano yan. That's your stereotyping. No? Or, <laughs> uh, diba? Or, 
Yabang nga kasi uh, ano eh, may lahing kano, no? Yan, mga stereotyping yan. Or, ah, graduate kasi ng ano yan eh. Ng PCC yan. So, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan yan. Hindi dapat yan. Usual stereotyping should be removed. No? Uh, halo effect. Halo effect occurs when a manager gives an employee the same rating. No? So, ibig sabihin naman, parang natatakot pa yung amo mo sa'yo, no? Yung manager mo, parang, mabait naman siya eh. Kaso, hindi siya gano'ng kagaling. So, sige, sige, re-rating, no? <laughs> so, let's say, hindi siya gano'ng kagaling sa Excel, no? Or, hindi siya, galing, hindi siya gano'ng kagaling gumawa na PowerPoint presentation, no? Pero sinabi mo, okay naman siya. Then, that is a halo effect. So, parang, in a way, medyo kabalik na rin siya ng stereotyping. So, one way to overcome evaluation errors is to use a behavioral anchored rating scale. So, okay, bars. Uh, medyo advanced na to, but you can read, uh, you can research if you want. Uh, hindi ko muna siya, hindi ko siya didiscuss because it's way too high level naman na. Or, pag nasa ano na kayo, malayo-layo na. No? Which is a performance evaluation technique that relates an employee's performance to specific job-related incidents. So, employee relations. Uh, what is employee relations? It pertains to company efforts to enhance and maintain peaceful and productive relations between its employees. It is important to expect some situations of conflict or a feeling of tension in the workplace due to differences in viewpoints, personalities, work approaches between managers and the employees whom they supervise. These differences can be effectively managed to maintain good relations among organizational members, no? So, normal naman yan, no? Kasi iba tayo ng mga uh, kultura, no? Let's say, meron ditong uh, background nila is medyo may kaya sila. Ito naman yung isa, ordinaryo lang sila, no? Uh, yung isa, pamilya ng doktor, isa, pamilya ng abogado, no? Iba, pestiso, iba, chinito, no? Iba, may lahing kano, Korean, no? Indian, And not just that, no? Uh, yung iba talaga medyo marangya, no? Yung iba medyo walang iya, no? Hmm? Okay. Importance of employee relations to promote a spirit of partnership, no? So, partnership. Kailangan meron kayong partnership between management and employees, no? Tulungan kayo, no? Hindi pwedeng, uh, ano lang, dapat give and take, no? Hindi pwede puro copy, no? Not lead to business and development. Next, to establish systems and procedures for management and employees to freely discuss, negotiate, and settle issues that may arise, particularly those related to employee rights and benefits. So, kung mapag-uusapan naman yan na medyo matinuti, no? Di ba, no? ang matiwasay, huwag na natin paabutin ng next level. No? Yeah. Kung meron kang gustong i-address na concern na hindi naman na kailangan masyado i-address sa HR, no? pwede na. Unless kung medyo major concern, no? yung tipong ang minimum wages, how much na? 534 a day. Eh, ang gusto mo parang 1,000 a day. Ah, ibang ano yan, ibang usapan yan. No? And next, to encourage workers' participation in policy and decision making on matters that concern their interests. No? So in decision making, kailangan kasali yung mga workers kasi sila naman ang mapapangibabawa ng mga concerns na yan. Eh. So let's say, bawal pumasok ng late. no? Alam ng mga empleyado yan. No? So pag na-late sila, then alam nila. no? Hindi yung magugulak na lang sila, ay bawal na, bawal na pumasok yung mga late. No? Yan yung mga importance importance of employees relations. Huh? Okay. So, ito iba yata to. Ito yung sa book. Huh? To promote a sustainable, no, human resource management and development. Yan nga, sustainable, no? Ah, uh, less employee turnover, no. 
to establish and promote an employee grievance system. No? So let's see, may problem si kanitong empleyado. No? Siguro yung love life, no? <laughs> yung medyo, ano naman, medyo urgent concern, no? Yan. To establish and promote a code of discipline. Kayo pa lang, meron na kayong, ano, no? Parang nag-uusap-usap na kayo na ito yung gagawin natin. Hindi pwede yung beyond that. <clears throat> Uh, to prevent economic losses that may result due to labor strikes or to reduce the effect. No? Yeah. Labor unions. So, kahit na kayo eh, hindi kayo empleyado, alam nyo na yung labor union na yan. No? Are formal organizations formed by workers within, our own, within an organization as a vehicle for promoting and protecting keyword Employees interest. No? So, employee. Members are rank and file workers or those who do not hold any supervisory or managerial positions in the company. Hindi pwedeng, uh, let's say, manager ka tapos member. Tawag dun conflict of interest. No? So, registrations, disputes, and settlements. So, uh, meron ako napanood dati, no? yung KB tag, no? Labor union siya, pero hindi siya registered sa Department of Labor and Employment, TOLE, Bureau of Labor Relations. So, may mga sample ng labor unions. Kaya ako member, no? Sorry, no? Uh, let's say, yung alam natin is yung KMU, no? Kilosang Mayo Uno, yan. Pero minsan yung mga company, meron silang kanya-kanyang union. In handling mediation and dispute settlements between management and labor, the government agency in charge is the National Labor Relations Commission, which is also under the TOLE. So, yung mga nanonood dyan ng kumpul, uh, nababanggit lagi ang NLRC niya, no? kasi mga guardia, no? ano pa ba? Mga crew, no? hindi sila nabibigyan ng proper uh, settlement. No? Typically, mga sweldo yan or SSS pag-ibig, no? mga benefits. Ayan. So, according to the 1987 Philippine Constitution of the Article 13, no? the state should afford full protection to labor local and overseas, organize and unorganize, and promote full employment and equality of employment opportunities for all. No? So, lahat, lahat ng mga manggagawa. Whether you are working for an organization or not, whether you are working locally or overseas, no? it guarantees the rights of all workers to self-organization, collective bargaining and negotiations, and peaceful, concerted activities, which, including the right to strike. No? So, may kakaya, may karapatan kayo mag-strike in, in accordance with law. They shall be entitled to security of tenure. No? So kahit nag-strike ka, dapat meron ka pa rin security of tenure. No? Hindi ka basta-basta tatanggalin. No? Pero misan, ewan, hindi rin siya nasusunod. No? Humane conditions of work and a living wage. Again, misan nagiging drawing lang to, no? pero yan yung nakasalad sa batas. No? They shall also participate in policy and decision-making processes affecting their rights and benefits as may be provided by law. Ayan, collective bargaining. No? Uh, it is a process where in Ano ba yung mga pwede natin pag-usapan? Ano ba pwedeng itas yung sahod namin kada araw? Or baka naman pwedeng bigyan nyo kami ng konting leeway. Ang ganun. Leads to a written agreement or contract which is signed by union and management representatives. So ito kahit hindi tayo experts, no? kahit hindi tayo mga empleyado or hindi tayo member ng union. Familiar tayo dito sa Collective Bargaining Agreement or CBA which is related to the improvement no, in compensation and working conditions. So yun yung pinaka-focus 
Uh, lalo na kung stay in yung mga workers. Employee relations in non-unionized companies. No? So, ako. Ano, no? Ayun? Philippines. So, is... huh? I'm not sure kung nag... Na Department. Majority of Philippine workers are not union members. In non-union... Managers develop employee relations by having a proactive approach to promote workers' welfare. For instance, managers discuss and meet with employees on matters pertaining to compensation and benefits. No? So typically, ano nga yarijan department manager muna, no? Kada department muna naguusap, no? Na merong bas bas naman ng HR, no? Oh, sabi ng HR, kausapin niyo yung mga tao niyo, no? Kung ano mga hinaing nila, no? Yung mga daing. So, gagawin ng mga department managers, kakausapin nila mga employees nila. No? Meron silang department meeting, typically. No? Ano ba nangyayari sa atin, no? Ano ba mga, pang mga nangyayari? Ano bang kailangan ayusin? Mga concern na yun, iba ang pato nila ulit sa HR, no? And then, yung department nila ulit. Oh, but not all the time, no? Yung mga requests ng department managers ay nasusunod. No? Minsan, it's either hindi supported or hindi siya approved nung mas nasa itaas. So, again, 50-50 yung chance dyan. So, for instance, managers discuss and meet with employees on matters pertaining to compensation and benefits, job security and working conditions, no? And developing mechanisms to ensure Employee health, safety, and wellness. Employee movements. Promotion. So, ano na yan? Uh, given na yan. Upward. No? Hindi ka pwede ma-promote pa baba. Upward or vertical movement of employee. From lower level to higher level jobs. Okay. So, 15 minutes. Ako mag-lesson. Involves an increase in the employee's rank or status in his or her job position. No? So, tataas yung position mo. Uh, tataas din yung duties and responsibilities. And supposed to be, dapat tataas din yung sweldo mo at privilege. Pero minsan, pag may balat ka sa pwet, no, yung napasukan mo, tumaas yung position mo at karanggo mo, pero walang dagdag sa sweldo. And meron akong kilalang ganun. No? <laughs> Na-promote siya as uh, parang uh, accounting head. No? Accounting head, pero sweldo niya pang rank and file pa rin. No? <laughs> oh my God. So, hindi na accountant yun. No? Ang tawag na doon is accountant nga. No? I mean, dapat ang sweldo mo na or 30,000 pero still, nagtsatsaga siya sa nakakandang chance no? or opportunities no? para hindi siya mahabol, nag-apply na lang siya sa no? ngayon, nandun na siya sa uh, Australia. No? Nandun na siya sa Australia, no? So, promotion motivates no, employees to work better and increase their sense of loyalty to the company. So, meron naman iba tinatanggap na lang kahit wala nang increase. No? Wala nang dagdag. Basta, ang inaasahan na lang nila yung one big payday. No? Yung huling pamamaalam. No? Yung mi ultimo adios. No? Na pag nagretiro kaya meron kang gandang bonus. But still, kahit yun sugal din. I'm not saying na lahat ng company ganun. Merong ibang company na eh, hindi ganun kabay. No? Separation. Involuntary. No? Termination. Of the employee. Hindi nila nagustuhan yung trabaho mo. Let's say. Man, no? Uh, yung isang kasama ko dati sa work. No? Ganun nangyari sa kanya. Tinanggal siya. Kasi hindi nagustuhan yung. Uh, ewan ko dun sa mag-amo nila. Yung trabaho nila. No? Uh, Parang sinabi sa kanya ng owner ng project is kailangan tapusin niya ng ganitong date if hindi mo na goodbye ka na. No? So, hindi nga natapos, automatic. Sayo na ra, no? Yeah. A company may be forced to retrench or lay off, no? So, kung medyo ano kayo, yung ABS-CBN, no? Ngayon nangyari sa kanila. Retrench or lay off some workers or close the establishment due to prolonged downfall in business conditions. So, yung COVID-19, ganyan ang impact iba, it's either nagtanggal sila ng tao or, ikaw, MWF, ako, TTHS. Huh? Ganun ang ginawa nila. 
these are economic grounds for termination and they are legal. No? So, hindi mo siya mahabol. No? Pag sinisante ka niya, nagkaroon ng pandemic, eh, pasensya na lang po. No? Better luck next time. No? Termination is also classified as involuntary when the employee is dismissed due to a grave act done by the employee, no? which is injurious to people. So, let's say, ano ba yan? Embezzlement of funds. So, nahuli ka nagnanakaw ng gamit ng mga empleyado. Or, binugbog mo yung kapwa mo empleyado sa opisina, no? Or sa factory. No? Nag-away kayo. No? Inaway mo supervisor, no? Sinuntok mo yung pinaka-CEO. No? That are, those are grounds for separation. Involuntary. No? Ha? Naulit ka ka. Yun, voluntary. No? Employee who resigns by citing personal reasons is required to submit his or her formal resignation. So typically, nagbo-voluntary resignation is yung mga, uh, ma'am, ano eh, nakahanap na ako ng mas magandang opportunidad eh. Or, uh, ma'am, boss, magmamigrate po kami sa Canada eh, kasama yung family ko. Ganon, no? Uh, required to submit his or her formal resignation to the company at least one month before the date of separation to allow the company to look for replacements so as not to disrupt the work schedules and affect the work output in the a letter of resignation must be submitted to the head of the group where the employee belongs. Uh, so, sa voluntary, no, sabi nila, ito yung mga iyakan, no? yeah, which is somewhat true. Lal, doon mo malalaman, no? aside from pagwala ka na, no? which is hindi Uh, pag nagbolong malalaman kung gaano kakamahal ng mga tao sa organization. To go. Manage of employees is governed by the labor code of the Philippines. No? So when terminating employees, the company must observe proper procedures to ensure due process. No? Na hindi hindi ka tala, hindi naman ikaw yung tinanggal ng hindi na ayon sa batas. No? Managers comply with the provisions of law for especially critical when dismissing a regular so ingat na ingat sila dyan, no? para sure no? ito retirement no? ending the employment of a regular personnel who reaches retirement age no? under the labor code regular employees are entitled to retirement benefits an employee who reaches the age of 60 or more but not beyond 65 pwede ka pa rin magtrabaho ng 60 pero hindi mo Pag 65, automatic, babay ka na. No? Who has served at least five years with the same employer may retire. The employee is entitled to a retirement plus a uh, retirement pay equivalent to at least one half month salary for every year or of service. No? A fraction of at least six months. So let's say, magkano yung kinita mo no? kada taon? No? Palahati nun, every year. Half month salary. So let's say, unang taon mo, 5,000. No? So, 2-5, no? Plus, 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 plus. Yun yung magiging total mo na retirement uh, benefits. So. Hello? Kamusta nga sa ano? Kamusta nga ating teacher? Eto, nagre-record ako ng class. <laughs> Pahog ka kasi yung mamaya. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No problem. Sige. No, retirement, the employee is entitled to a retirement pay. Yan, nabanggit ko na. No? The employment package may be big enough that the employee feels well compensated. No? Yan yung sinasabi nilang pabaon. Oh? Or yung joke na may team mo adios. No? The last farewell. Retirement part. In some large companies, additional retirement benefits, especially for its long tenured executives. No? Ayan. May include a car or holiday vacation to a popular tourist destination. And closing prayer. Lord be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's not a personal deal. Lord be to the Amen. Ad maiorem de gloriam. Amen.